All right. So this video is happening a little bit. After the video, I just said that I, I hate the gym. Um, and like I said, I don't hate the gym, guys. I think the gym is a beautiful tool for whatever you need to do, you know, especially, you know, if you, if you um, don't like to be outside, you know, I think it's great. Gym has done a wonderful thing. And like I said, it's great for building community. Um, listen, I want to say this right quick before I even go and make my statement. Guys, I don't think I'm smart. I don't think I'm above. I don't think that the ideas I come up with, anything I think of, most people already do. But it's just new to me. Um, I know catas uh, what is it, catasthetics. I'm just called body weight working out pretty much. I know that already exists. But um, it's never existed for me. And one thing, and as I've been going on this health journey again, leaving YouTube has really changed my life for now. It's given me more opportunity to think. But I want to say this, guys. I, I really think I'm not that smart. I, I really do. Um, I think I have ideas, but they come from people. And I think that's why I think communication and um, relationships are so important. But I want to say this, like, when I come up with ideas, I think they're stupid <laughs> at first. You know, I started getting up and going to the gym at four in the morning. I thought that was stupid. Best decision I could have ever made for me personally. I thought it was stupid when I started doing it. I was like, man, what am I doing? I'm trying to prove something to people? I'm just stupid. But I've been able to gather my thoughts and think so much. And it's just a wonderful thing. So I don't regret that now. But I'm just getting to the point where, I don't know. I, I feel like this is a stupid decision, but I'm just walking away from the gym for now. I don't know how for how long, but I think in order for me to really be able to help people who are obese and be able to really help people get a healthy lifestyle, I have to take money out of the equation. Because I remember growing up when I was younger, um, there was a part in my life where I lived where there was no gyms. We had one park, um, and that's it. <laughs> so if you wanted to work out, you, the closest gym at that point from where I was living was, I think, 50, 55 minutes. It's 50 minutes to get back into a town, and then I think probably about five, 10 minutes to get to the gym. So the closest gym I could go to was about 50 minutes away. Um, I mean, because that's where everything happened for me. That's where everybody was. So, and that, that cost me a lot of gas. So I don't think anybody, not everybody had the ability. If you live in a really small town, you may not have a gym. Um, in fact, there's a town right next to me right now. There's no gym in that town. So if you go up there and you ain't got a car, you ain't going to the gym. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Um, so I just want to make it to where it's possible for people who don't have a gym and people who don't have anywhere to go to still be at a not, and I, and I don't want it to make it just working out. Like it doesn't have to be always a fitness thing. It can just be a getting one with nature thing and just building up your body so you can do more things. You know, if you work on your fitness, you can climb trees. If you work on your fitness, you can hike. If you work on your fitness, you can pick up rocks. If you work on your fitness, you can go run with your friends. Um, so that's all I'm trying to teach is like nature-based fitness. So you can just enjoy life. It doesn't always have to be the grind. You just need, in order to do some things, you're going to have to have a certain level of fitness. But you can get to that point progressively for a reason. You know, I, you know, sometimes I think about school and this is just... You know, it's just a funny thing, but you know how when you're in school and you're learning calculus, calculus to physics, all this stuff. And even though it can be applied, a lot of it, you feel like it's useless. Like a lot of the classes you take in high school, they feel dumb. They feel like it was worth a waste of time. And uh, I feel like what nature can teach you is that if you work on a lot of things, nothing is a waste of time. You know, doing all these things out here in nature can really help you in life. So I'm just, that's all I'm trying to do. You know, for me personally, just being able to, you know, go for a run, 
um, be able to lift my own body weight, be able to do certain variations of certain things. Just, just for me, it one it helps me be able to do more stuff with my wife, do more stuff with the kids, and be able to just do stuff with the community. Like go on a 5K run, a 10K run, go on a hike, you know, with a bunch of people. You know, go play a, maybe a quick game of basketball, maybe some football, maybe go play disc golf. All this stuff you can even do that's not necessarily nature based, but it's all outside. And you can go do that because you have a certain level of fitness. You know what I mean? So you can still be in the community aspects. And when you need to go alone on your own and just do some thinking, you can go for a run. You can go for a five mile run, a one mile run, hell, a half a mile run. Um, you can go for just a, a nice little walk. You can go for a nice hike. You know what I mean? And so, I don't know, man. I'm just on a journey to get out of the box. And I'm not talking about corporate America. I mean, anything like that because I, I work in corporate America. So, I work in a box. Um, but when I get the opportunity to be outside, I want to take full advantage of it. You know, most of us are going to have to work a full-time job. That's just how it works. Um, but for me... I just want to be able to do more and more. And I just feel like I can really help obese people such as myself who have been obese, obese for over 20 years. and But do it in a different way. Not just get your ass in the gym, but more. Let me show you the uh, more peaceful, loving way you can do it. And there's going to be time you got to get through pain. And sometimes you got to work through it. And that's also important for building your mind. The competition, the competitiveness and pushing through pain in certain situations. But that, that's maybe 20 I'll say that's maybe 20 to 15 percent. Let's call it 20 percent. OK, the rest of the 80 percent of life is really just cooling. You know what I mean? Um, not, it's not that way for everybody. Never, Nothing's absolute. But I'll say for most people, 80 percent of life is mundane. Just waking up, going to work, picking up your kids from school, going to school, you know, um, going to doctor's appointment, you know, just picking up groceries. 80 percent of life is really mundane. 20% of life is going to be dealing with the tragedies and the, the hardships and the hard parts of life. And I want to teach people about that 80%, you know, and how do you get through that 80% and enjoy life and be able to go outside and look at the clouds, look at the grass, look at the animals, look at everything and just be able to also put fitness into that, but also just be at peace for when those, those times when the 20% finally does hit. And the times get hard and the times get tough. You can get through it. You know what I mean? And uh, that's what it's all about for me, man. I'm trying to teach people about that 80%. And I'm learning myself. That's why I'm doing this all off the grid. I'm making all these videos. They're not getting uploaded right now. Um, by the time you see these videos, Lord willing, it'll probably be a year before you all see any of these videos. Well, who knows? Year, two years, five years? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. But... It'll be a while before these videos come out because this is my own journey. I'm going to do this alone with my wife, myself, and my friends. And so, anyway, I just thought that's what I'd give y'all an update on. I'm just gonna, not going to go to the gym no more. I'll, I'll, I'll come to the physical parking lot of the gym. My gym is out. My gym has an inside, obviously, but we have a big outside area. We have a basketball goal right here in front of my face, a tennis goal that nobody ever uses. We have a fat track, I call it, over here. We have a bunch of rocks and just places you can exercise around here. So I'm just going to use the outside area. I'm still going to come to the gym every day, but it's always going to be outside work. And uh, I'm going to prove that, and I'm not the first person to prove this, plenty of men men and women who work out outside. All the workouts are outside. On um, pull-up bars, at parks, whatever. So I just want to be part of that. But I'm coming from a different space of a, just an obese man. I haven't seen anybody who's been obese and went to this life so i want to show that and i want to show you you can still be strong sorry guys my lips look terrible once again this is these are just not proper etiquette sorry don't don't judge the video just 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 listen to the video don't watch the video no, we're not here to do that. i know i got a close-up on my face y'all can see the camera in my freaking hand <laughs> with the glasses on but yeah um yeah let's get to it let's get to the ground I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.